three, two, one. B-side word. Welcome back to the B-Side Word Podcast. I am Devin. I'm here with Emma. Hello. I'm here with CJ. Hello. And I'm here with Alexander. Ahoy. This week, I've been listening to a lot of uh, comedians. And uh, this comedian brought up a very, very good point that I want to bring to the table. Now, when... Mr. Ernest. Yes. Why are you touching your breasts? Because I'm getting heartburn. So I'm just trying to rub it out. And thank you for letting people... I, 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 I thought you were trying to fondle yourself. Um, so when you go over someone's house and someone says to you, make yourself at home, mm-hmm. what are the limitations to that invitation? I like to keep my, I like to keep my underwear on. <laughs> it depends how old you are. It depends how old you are. There's like a bell curve when it comes to this saying. Also depends on like your relationship with the person. Yes. I'm, I'm making this up on the fly. Yeah. When you're young, like, make yourself at home literally means make yourself home because you're a kid and you have no awareness. So you will just treat it like it's your home. Mm. Then as you get older, you realize social etiquette. And you realize that even when someone says that, they don't necessarily mean treat it like it's your mm. home. They just mean be a little bit comfortable. Like you don't have to be uptight or anything. So, you know, this is now the we're getting up to the top of the bell curve where probably like in your your 20s, you get to the top of the bell curve, late 20s, where you're very respectful of someone's home, especially like if you're getting into your own home and you understand what it takes to take care of a home and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then... Into your 30s, you start to hit the downslope because now you're at the point where. Th- wait, wait. You're, you're at 30s? the point. You think your 30s yeah, no. is the downslope? Listen, <laughs> listen why? I've, I've got rationalization. You hit, you're starting to hit I was the downslope. Say, you to the downslope. <laughs> you're starting to hit your downslope because when you go to someone's house, first of all, you're not going to anyone and everyone's house at this point. Like, the. There's only there's only certain people you have enough energy for to even go to their yeah. house to start with. So when they say it, they're already people that you're comfortable with and already people that they say it, but they don't really have to say it that much because you're you're quite close with them in general. Um very rare but there are still the occurrences where you're going to like a, a more to you formal setting, like they're a friend of a friend or uh, an yeah, older yeah, person. Yeah. So so you can be generally comfortable most of the time. You don't feel that uptightness. Yeah. Um, and then just as you get older, again, you spend less and less time going to random people, people you don't know's house, and also you care less and less and less. And by the time you're in like your 60s or 70s, it's like, this is my home. Like, I don't give a fuck anymore. To give me a drink, feet up on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Fall asleep at the table. You know, uh, table. okay. So what is one, what is one item, one part of the house... That you will, that is a, like, a, doesn't matter what you, like you say, make yourself at home. What is the no-go zone? The bedroom. Bedroom. The bedroom? Yeah. Yeah. Alexander, the bedroom? Be- what, as in, like, what do you mean, the bedroom? Like, what are you going to go do in the bedroom? <laughs> I, I, go lay so down? I don't know why you went to the bedroom. I'd like, <laughs> well, because... You're yeah. going to have a nap in someone else's bed? <laughs> no, like, no, no, understand. no. This, this is actually... Oh, I like this topic. So, when I came to your household... Yeah. I was surprised, actually, that you or your sister or whatever would have a nap on your parents' bed. It's my mum's bed. Listen. Yeah. And then, like, your dad or whoever might nap on one of your beds, right? Yeah. That surprised me because growing up, my parents' bedroom's off limits. Like, Why? I well, I, it's, not like it, it's not like a spoken off limits, but I wouldn't ever go in there if they're not in there. And even if there yeah. are in there, it's a more more like a in the morning. Oh hi, might hang out on the bed. Really? It's kind of a special thing. Hang out on the bed and then leave, type right, thing. Right, right. Um, so I actually was thinking about this. You'll never guess today. Yeah. With our kids, because our kids treat my bedroom. Yeah, they're gonna. Because be I there. went in there about an hour ago, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I went to just remake the bed. So I went. I've re- I've already made the bed today. What on earth is going on? And they would brought in all of their pillows. Not only their pillows, all of their soft toys mm. <laughs> into my bed, and they were. And I went, "This, they, this, they, this is just their room, isn't it? Really, <laughs> right?" And I thought, "Am I going to allow this to continue?" Do you want it to be a no-go for kids? 
And I thought, no, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm just going to see this through and we'll yeah. just let this be quite relaxed like Dev's household was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So oh, what I thought initially was, oh, that's strange. I wouldn't sleep in my parents' bed or nap there. Like I would just never dream of it's it. It's just, you know why? Because the my mum's bed is the best bed in the house. It's the best bed in the house. She, she. Oh yeah, no, no. Should be, right? and, and you, and you, and you, and you know what else it was? Erno slept in like this little corner, like a little dungeon when you were younger. Yeah. <laughs> I was Harry Potter. I was Harry Potter when I was younger. I slept underneath the stairs. Um, I was gonna bring. It a staircase. But I, was... I don't think your mum likes you sleeping in her bed because she she likes to make her bed. You know, she's full of crap. Pris- she loves it when pristine. I sleep in her bed. And then she's like, "Dev, don't you dare!" Listen, listen to me. Listen now. I wanted to. Um, if someone you invite someone over to your house, and someone, you you, you tell them make yourself at home, right? And then they mm-hmm. open your fridge. Are you mm-hmm. like what the? F- are you like, what the f- are you doing? Or are you like, oh, cool? No, if I, if if they're family or close friend, if they are family, definitely not. Go for it. Mm-hmm. Um, if they're close friends and I've said, make yourself at home, the, you know, get, help yourself to food, whatever, go yeah. for it. So it's not weird for you? Not, if they, okay. If they randomly came in and they weren't a close friend and I hadn't say, <laughs> hadn't said, make yourself at home and then they opened the fridge, I'd be like, hmm. <laughs> Just a bit strange, that's so, all. But I, <laughs> but I mean, so I feel like I think you'll agree. If someone uses the phrase "make yourself at home" as permission to go into your fridge, they shouldn't be going into your fridge. If they were going to go into your fridge without you saying "make yourself at home," then they're the right person to be going into your fridge. Yeah, like, this is true. Because they're close yeah, yeah. enough, they're close enough to you that they would, they already know the relationship is there that they can do that. And like, probably if, the, if they're the if they're tentative enough that they're yeah, that's they're what like, I mean. See, oh, I don't know if I can. And then you say make yourself at home, and then they're like, oh well, now I can go into the fridge. It's like no, you definitely can't. Like the fact that you weren't even sure that you could go into my fridge before that, you're definitely not close yeah. enough to me. To be going CJ, into you're like family. Of course, you can go into. Yeah, the I'm fridge. not. To- I'm, yeah. Talk- I'm not talking about CJ. I'm talking about like when you like. So no. we, you go, I go. We just all right. So there's a period where you go from like friend to closer friend, right? And you go make yourself at home, right? But they don't know the rules. Like me and CJ know like each other, right? So when he opens up the fridge and he sees something that's nice, he probably thinks, "Oh, Ernie thinks that's nice." I'm going to ask him first. If I can eat that Wait. before he eats it, right? <laughs> but what I'm thinking is, once you go through that, that guy that's first entered and you go, I'll make yourself at home, he sees something and he goes, he said, make myself at home. <laughs> he picks out the stuff that I, he, he obviously doesn't know I like. He picks it up and then he takes it to the table. I turn the corner and I see him fingers deep in this whatever meal that he has. And sandwich. Like, they just oh, say sandwich. You made yourself at home. You have you, a full on story. <laughs> you have a full on okay. actual okay, story eating, that you have. Who's in, eating your food? That you have in your head. No, I just heard it off a comedian, right? I heard it and it said, and to be honest, the fridge is a weird one. It's a weird one for me. Look, my, if, okay, it's, okay, oh, do you know what? Let's get deeper. So the <laughs> fridge, it has two layers you have drinks and you have food, right? I, I, I just go on for drinks. Drinks. I feel is like whatever, like like any like anyone that's coming to my house is a friend, right? So have a drink. Like if it's the very first time they've been there, I will say, like I will obviously offer, and I'll and I'll say, "There's the drinks. Help yourself." Yeah. Mm, mm. Food. My boys even ask, "Oh, mum, can I have this and that?" Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that's different. Do you agree? Yeah, food's different. Food's yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. If someone's going for your food, eating your food. <laughs> <laughs> drink. It'll be the last time that person's ever out. <laughs> Is there any separation of drinks with non alcoholic and alcoholic drinks? No. Oh, now, see, I depends disagree. On the situation. If it's a, like if it's a day event, you're assuming it'll be non alcoholic. Um, if it's a nighttime event that you've stocked up for, may, yeah. Yeah. You no, crack, but if you crack it's, open a beer. If it's during the day and Say it's, I don't know, a weekend, it's a Saturday or a Sunday, someone's popped over and you're hanging out. I'm like, oh, do you want a drink? Yeah, just go grab yourself one from the fridge. Now, I'll give an example of our parents' fridge. Every time I go to mum and dad's house, 
there's always like three or four beers in the fridge. And that's it. Mm-hmm. There's not there's not a lot. There's not a stock somewhere. There's just three or four beers. Now, if you take one of those beers, you're drinking one of my dad's beers. <laughs> <laughs> like you're going into his personal stash of beer right now. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, I yeah. feel yeah. That's taking that different. Out of his pocket. <laughs> that's different. If there's only like a couple left, you're probably not going to take it. But if there's ten, you, you're going to feel fine. To but take I feel it. like there's <clears> different <throat> rules for different fridges. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's different rules for different fridges. The old man's fridge is has a different rule. <laughs> Basically. Dev, would you? Yeah. Is the Jaeger bomb? Make no, yourself at doing... home. How how close to someone do you have to be to take shit in the house? <gasps> oh, dude! Ooh. Like I, me and CJ are pretty close, and I've never ever done a poo in CJ's house. Oh, I, I I've done it in your house. Yeah, I know, but like... <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> All of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but like Emma's face. <laughs> no. But that's go for yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. It's like I never had to. I think because I'm pretty regular. My oh. mind's like six six o'clock on the dot every morning. It's Dev's like that's very bang. regular. It's like bang. So when I get to yeah. someone's house, it's M- like me. Mm. me. It can happen anywhere, anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I that's, would, that's I an interesting question. No, that's no. an interesting question. It's it's worse when you start like going out with a girl, and then you, you need to go to the bathroom. Oh my gosh! Place. Yes, CJ. Yes, that's, that's when it's bad. Yes, I've had to fake. I've had to fake a shower so I could take a shit. Yes, I fake never shower, for the first fake. six months. I never had a poo at um. Or how long were you at um? Uh, Ultimo. Six months. Six months. First six months. I never did a poo in your house. Yeah. I would go home with a bellyache. And that is a 40-minute drive. That is a 40-minute yeah. drive. <laughs> and I would be like sweating on the way home. Like I'm going over the bridge and I'm like, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to have to pull over, hazards on, and poo on the freeway. <laughs> I'm not going to make it. There's no way I'm making it there. And every toilet in between where she lives and on the way home, it's all rubbish. It is all the all the oh. all the toilets, public toilets are rubbish. They've got needles in them. I just don't trust any public toilets in between my house. And... I, I I once went to a public toilet. Oh, I don't know how I don't know how this happened. From what I saw, it looked like the person had exploded upwards. It sh- upwards. upwards. It shit everywhere. Yes. He did a volcano. I he was know. on his head and I he don't shoot know it he... upwards. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how he did it. Nah, because I opened the door. So I was coming from a girl's place and I was, I was, I was, you know, I was, I was coming to an end. Yeah. You know, um, I needed to go <laughs> back. And I've opened the door and, and, and I've gone, F- this, I can hold it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's horrible. That's a horrible question, Alexander. Have you ever pooed in your girlfriend's house? Yeah. I, yeah. I don't, Dude, like, I, 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 there is I limits the to it. There yeah. are limits to it, but there's also limits to how uncomfortable I'm willing to be. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to put myself in too much pain. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to impress Emma. I go, I'm, I'm unhuman. I don't poo. I don't poo. I'm unhuman. I don't poo. <laughs> so, when was the first time, like, you fought in front of a lady? Oh, it was marriage. Early on. It was marriage. Nah, these are the questions that people want to hear the answers to. Early on, I think. You think when, so. is, when is the accept? I've never been a fan of to... it either. He he thinks that Can... I am. Maybe I'm not sure. <laughs> for me, I've never been a fan of it. For me, uh, early on, and I encouraged the girl to as well. Oh no 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 Hold no! On. <laughs> Have you ever cupcaked someone? No. What does that mean? No no no! I've never put it in your hand and then. Oh no! no. no. <laughs> I've never done that. No. Okay. I would die. Just, Wouldn't that's, I die? That is, just, yeah. that, is, that is just me. <laughs> I would actually die. <laughs> Have you seen that meme where you see like um, that finger, like an animated water finger, and just touches your balls? Have you seen that one? It's like mm-hmm. when you poo and then like it just uh, um, touches um, 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 oh. the splashback. <laughs> so it just touches. <laughs> it touches your ball sack and you're like, no, no. 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Can you imagine I that? I need to see that. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. But even my boys, they're having a conversation oh. one day and then they said, who, who, you know, trumped or whatever. And then they were listing out the names and then someone said, mum, and the other one goes, no, she doesn't. She doesn't do that. Like, she, I'm I don't so think she that. can. Like, you know. <laughs> I Mums see. Don't. <laughs> I know why Emma's like that. I 100% know why Emma's like that because that is exactly how we were raised. Like yeah. to the t- Emma is so close to how we were raised; it's unbelievable. <laughs> and I'm so far removed from how we were raised. <laughs> but things yeah. like that to me, if you're not comfortable farting, something literally everyone on the planet does in your own home, you've Ugh. got issues. Like you've yeah. got well, we've so been many together issues. for 16 years, so it's not that much of an issue. What do you mean? But I don't. Okay, I don't. That's. Emma, Emma, no, I, I can tell you like, this right now. <laughs> I have locked the windows in my vehicle with your husband inside. He's a prick. Can... He's a prick. <laughs> he's a prick. He's a prick. He's I don't know. Pr- you guys constantly. can do And you know what? I, and I never noticed it because he keeps the conversation up. This is CJ, right? He starts talking about Marvel, right? And all of a sudden the windows start going up. And I'm so involved in the conversation. And I just start going, I go, um, um, why is the windows locked? Why is the windows locked? <laughs> Unlock the but windows. Literally, like we nearly had a crash because I punched him. Oh. I was like, as I said, I open the windows. It stinks, bro. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die of suffocation. Open the windows. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, what are you saying, Em? Yeah, I just um, not. I just nah. I've heard Emma fart once, and it wasn't voluntary. No, it was I, not. I like I picked her this up. This was in England, and I, yeah, I pulled her on my shoulder, and then I lifted her up, and when she came down. <laughs> It pushed her stomach in and then it went out the bum. I was, I was mortified. And I said, I looked at her. I looked at her like it was, I was like, oh, how rude. This was about 15 how years rude. ago. Was about- how, how dare you, you filthy animal. <laughs> it was about 15 years ago and I was mortified. <laughs> it's, it's, it's I don't the think you would like it if I suddenly started doing that. It's a level Sorry? of embarrassment that's associated with farting. Again, when it's something that literally everyone does. I just... <sighs> I couldn't be you. I could, like, that's that's too much anxiety that you're putting on yourself for no reason. Me? There are nights when yeah. I have, like, a bad belly or, and, and, <laughs> and, like, I'm hold. You know, I can't do anything because... <laughs> no, one day, Emma's going to burst. And it's just going to be one big Absolutely for, for like not. five minutes. Until I'm dead <laughs> and buried, it will not happen. Oh, man. When they open up your casket, <laughs> oh my God. that's 80 years worth. <laughs> that is 80 years worth. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Now, well, well, one day she's going to let one un- no. unleash, you know? Maybe like five minutes worth of fighting. Absolutely not. Never. <laughs> Never, ever. Like, like you seen those um those those um weather ads where the wind's blowing? That'll be the kids right trying to move forward. Yeah. And, oh and god. But I think like Dev wouldn't like it. He would be actually mortified himself if I was to do that. He'd be like, "What?" Maybe maybe the first <laughs> two times. After that, yeah. you're just like, "Oh, yeah, okay." She used to. Yeah, but I wouldn't. Used, I wouldn't want to. Yeah, useful. I wouldn't want to. Oh no way. What about you, CJ? Would you want your other half doing that? But I'd rather her do that than have a bellyache. <laughs> <laughs> Call me old fashioned. <laughs> yeah. I, I definitely encourage it. Yeah, but you, it, it's not like you like, like if, if she was doing it constantly, you'd be a bit like, uh, wouldn't you? Well, no, because if she's doing it constantly, like how, I'd be like, how okay, often, we, need how to, often... we need to go to the doctor. Like, there's a problem here. <laughs> yeah. I was like, how often, how often do you need to fight him? No, not me. I'm just saying, like, he's saying, yeah, do it, do it. Like, I don't know. What if she, I, encu- when, I encourage the it again, because you're in your own home. Like, this is where you live. Like, if you can't do it in your own home, if you can't, I am an extension of your home. Essentially, that's what I, I'm an extension of, of, of your home being the place where you're at your most comfort. I'm, I try to accommodate to be an extension of that at all times. 
So if you don't know, if you have any anxiety about any part of your life around me, I'm not doing my job properly. Be comfortable, fuck. Do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not. Um, not a reflection on you, my love. It's just me. Yeah, I didn't think it was me. <laughs> I never thought it was me. <laughs> never once has that entered my mind that it was me. <laughs> I can't do any more to make you feel comfortable. <laughs> I can't do any more. <laughs> You seen the worst of me. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> you don't feel comfortable after the stuff that I've done? It's not me, mate. I put my hands up. It's up to you. <laughs> hey, Ernie. Yo. Try the window trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't need to. I don't need to. Did you tell him? <laughs> so our youngest one has the filthiest, the filthiest... Um, <laughs> Oh, air excrements. He is his fecal matter penet like I don't I can't believe he's got no holes in his undies, right? So <laughs> this kid this kid always he, as well since he farted alive. he farted underneath the covers in in my bed. In Emma's bedroom, right? And then Emma's. where do you sleep? He sleeps in Aiden's room. <laughs> I sleep bed. in Aiden's room. Because the kids come in and it's too much. When two kids come into the room, it's too much. You can't fit. You and can't Archie fit four has people. night terrors yeah. and kicks. And you then he kicks constantly. And I said, until he grows up, I'm moving out. So, <laughs> um, so uh, and Archie, Aiden's like, can listen, I get my bed? Back? Listen, listen. <laughs> yeah, Archie parted this morning, right? And then I was like in the hallway, and I went. Um, I looked at my at Nate, and I said, uh, Did you? Did you let one rip? And he goes, nope, not me. And he walked away and I went, I go, oh man, it is it is filthy. It is thick and it's filthy. I believe you right? walked outside even. And then I opened the door to think there was someone outside. Like no. I thought there was, no, I, honestly, that's why I opened the door. I opened the door and <laughs> Wait, I went, what? I went, what's going on? Is there a smell outside? No smell outside, right? And I looked at um, Archie, I go, did you fart? And he just smiles and ignores me. So he's looking at his he's looking at his phone and he's ignoring me and he's smiling. I wanted to sell the That's house. That's the sign of I did it. Yeah, I wanted to sell the house because it started to in like it started to go embed itself into the walls of the bedroom, right? So it's 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 ten minutes later, right? And I walk into the bedroom and I go It was still there. Oh, what the freak, man? <laughs> what the freak is there. going on? And Emma's like, I think my nostrils are used to it. I go, why? I, no, I said, why I, I, said you, why? I said, I think it's bad because I can't smell it anymore. My, my nostrils must have got used to it. I'm like, <laughs> it's bad. It's still bad. It's like every time you step, it's like it. It's a dust particle, and it it brings it back up again. It brings it back to life. <laughs> It was incredible. I mean, I was like wow, this listen, is unbelievable. I am taking him to the doctor on because he has a bat. He's got something wrong. We've had him checked. <laughs> We've had him already checked. Or and he's... he could be part of the Marvel universe, <laughs> and that could be his superpower. And his, uh, and his superpower is. We've taken him. <laughs> they've looked at his. We'll, we'll call him Gaslight. <laughs> And the doctor couldn't find anything, and she said, oh, "Go to Man, the Maybe pediatrician. she just wanted him out. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get, there's nothing wrong. You just gotta. And the worst thing with this ch child is obviously he's a child, so he does it anywhere, mm. anywhere. So like we'll be waiting somewhere, <laughs> anywhere in queue, in queue, and he'll be like sat on my lap or at sw like somewhere, <laughs> and there's people around me, and he'll do it, and it is, it's just vile. It it's is... one of those ones where you could vomit basically, and. <sighs> What do you, I just I'm I am very open about blaming my child. Oh, Archie! <laughs> what is what did you real? do? What is the what is the chili? What is the most chilliest chili? Well, it used to be the Carolina Reaper, but I don't... Carolina Reaper. He, was probably one like of if there was a spectrum, he'd be on the Carolina Reaper end of that <laughs> fart spectrum. He's a. Mm. Uh, Is there any other one person I've known in my life to have such stinky back ends, and that was someone from college, but. It was just, uh, and that's how bad it is. Like I can remember the amount. Of, there's always one person that has just the worst. I want to let you know, Emma, if mm. that's your reaction and the way that you blame Archie, 100% everyone thinks it's you. Is it, Me? Yeah. 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 I, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, if you're blaming your son, yeah. 
Like everyone's like, oh, poor kid, man. He's getting blamed for farting and his mum's let it rip. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you did it that way, the way you just like demonstrated. Yeah. I would 100% think it was yeah. you. Yeah. You wouldn't. Yeah. 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 I would. <laughs> I was gonna, I was going to say the exact same thing. You sounded, you, you sounded guilty. Guilty. What, yeah, the fact said, that you didn't oh, even Archie. realize this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You sounded guilty. That sounds guilty, guilty. As, as heck. <laughs> what about this yeah, one? Because I've done this one as well. Oh, Arch. Oh, goodness, darling. Why'd you do that here? Like something like that. Yeah. Oh. Sounds pretty guilty. Yeah. Like the fact that you yeah. need to, the fact guilty. that you need to vocally <laughs> pin the blame on someone else. That's what makes it sound guilty. Yeah. But it's a child. It's not another adult. But you're that's still, right. you're still, still pinning like the blame. What do you reckon, like, that's, guys? That's the easiest way to pin the blame. Okay. What do you reckon? See, see, guilty. If, if, I, if, if, if I farted in a public place, I ain't saying shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what if I just said nothing? Then Yes! Yeah, say nothing. You then who you would say they nothing. Oh, Emma, next time, next time you do it and someone's next to you, you go, was it? Did you? Did you? Is that you? <laughs> That stinks, bro. No. You gotta get yourself checked out. That stinks. <laughs> no, they couldn't think as oh. that came from an. A yes, woman. from a woman. <laughs> M. That's so stinky. Every time women, you blame, hey. every, every every time so stinky you blame your son. I'm mortified that people are full. I was like. No, clearly it's not me, right? <laughs> it's the it's the child, no. and you're set telling no. me the, that they're, pro- they're probably me saying, doing "How that, could <laughs> how could me. that vile air come out of that child? Yeah. <laughs> that angelic, if someone, angelic child." If someone asked me define acting guilty, this would be the perfect example. And I don't blame the <laughs> father, the child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. If I was in line and I've accidentally let one rip. I will get out of line and walk somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, Dev. By the time it hits, so by the time it hits the people's nose, I'm out of there. Dev will like do it in the aisle <laughs> and then won't tell me even, and then it like builds around me. No. And then I'm like, no, she's <laughs> such a liar. I fart and then I grab her by the waist and Sometimes. I go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I go, let's go, let's go, <laughs> let's go, let's go. That's let's what go. I do. <laughs> I, I will just, I will let, I will, I'm. So, <laughs> I have seen people, right, walk into my <laughs> my air. <laughs> no, <laughs> you've got right. to be polite. You got to be polite and do the crop dust check, where you just before you just do the check. All right, no one's around. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> do it. I, like, I've 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 let it rip in the shops, right, and I've just done the whole walk off. You know, like, <laughs> and then you see people <laughs> walk in. <into, like, laughs> <laughs> oh even, no! You know the one that gets oh. me when you see the guy and they start going. <laughs> oh! <laughs> they go. <laughs> <laughs> oh! All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, oh, oh my god! Okay, oh, god. all right. Let's uh, change the speed. <laughs> right? I want to talk about uh, this series. That Alexander's refused to watch and CJ's refused to watch, but I want to bring it up mm-hmm. because I I think Which it's going to be it? only murders in the building. Oh yes, thank you, because I was going to bring it up and I stopped myself for a change. Okay, I I, I was actually going to start watching that with Mum. Yeah, because I think you and your mum will uh yeah she'll enjoy it. You and Definitely. you will enjoy it. Um, it's only six episodes in, yeah. and each episode is, is that on Disney Plus. Yeah. It is with Steve Martin. Was it Martin? Yeah. Steve and, uh, Martin, Google? Martin Short, Martin Short, and um, Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez, and it is uh, very. Is that Selena Gomez? Yeah. yeah. She got such a little face. Yeah, she's always had that. But it's a very interesting. It's a very interesting series. Um, okay. Uh, we enjoy it. I think Alexander would enjoy it if the full series was out. Yeah, we'll wait. And and you got a fact that I don't recommend. I don't recommend stuff. But I do recommend this. Everyone who's recommended it to that has watched it has loved it. Rachel was re- refusing to watch it as well. That's your sister. Yeah. Um. But her husband was watching it, and he was up to. He was on episode five, and she said, "Fine, I'll watch it." And she watched it all in one go, all and she's finished all, all six now. But they are short episodes. 
So you just reminded me of why I definitely need to wait until it's out to watch it. Because remember I told you last week that we were watching The Circle and they released like four episodes a week. Yeah. And that was like frustrating for me. Yeah. It's been a week and a half and we haven't watched the latest episodes because we forgot that we were watching it. I've only just realized that we haven't watched the most recent episode. So if if something's coming out one episode a week, there's a good chance I'm going to forget that I'm watching it. Uh, okay, so there's. I wanted to talk about early yeah. early murders in the building, and then I wanted to talk about what Alexander just brought up, right? But early murders in the building, it's something that keeps intriguing. It keeps us involved, and then we love it, right? We love it. Absolutely. There's some stuff in there where you go, what's going on? <laughs> but then it doesn't matter, like... Oh, no, because it's a murder mystery. No, like, you know, like the random things that sometimes happen. I mean, that's what life's all about. So I don't know. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Like... I can't say, but sometimes it's like random stuff. Yeah. Like his visions he was having that episode. You're like, what's this about? Is there... Or the first episode. Is there any like, chance that about? they're not random things? And you they're just not. They're the not. Bots? No, no. You can't... You, yes. You, I connected the box to his visions. You didn't until the end. But the first episode... You didn't... Con- oh, it's always you. <laughs> you didn't connect yeah, the box Well, there's either. only two of us watching it. when so- he goes... Whoa. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't stuff remember. like that. Mm, I don't know, um, but I wanted to talk about. Um, it's funny because you said random, random, right? What's a short, uh, the short or the slang for random? Well, rando. I only learned That's that today. That's what I was thinking. Rando, did you know that, CJ? No idea, mate. So, I wanted to bring up this. So I saw. Uh, this is just a short snippet, so you're not gonna, it's not gonna ruin it, but I just wanted to play this snippet part. <laughs> oh, spoiler alert! It's not, it's not, but... I can see Steve Martin! Yeah, watch this, oh, just watch I don't, this. I, I don't want to watch this anymore, it's been ruined. Wait, is it, how, how long is it? Like 30 seconds. Oh, okay. But then it will ruin it. Oh, great. Oh. I'm dying to know who your favourite is. I want to do this podcast. I have to finish this with you guys. That is so rando. That is not the right gesture. <laughs> so I just wanted to show that part. I wanted to show that part because he obviously doesn't know what rando is. And he's like, he's eyeing. <laughs> Selena goes like, that is so rando. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to ask how many times you see like the new words that are coming up, the new hip slang, and you've misused it. Oh, me. We've talked about this. Have we? Yeah. I, I didn't know what Netflix and chill was. I literally thought it was Netflix and Ooh. chill. <laughs> so I would say it. <laughs> oh, just Netflix and chill tonight. <laughs> I was just chilling. <laughs> and all the kids are like, yeah. oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy and Literally, daddy got it going on. <laughs> I think that's the first time I felt. Do you need a babysitter? Quite a bit old. <laughs> Netflix and chill. Oh, we just got a Netflix and chill. That's, that's <laughs> I the first time I felt old. Well. I only found out on Facebook through this chat that these mums were having because someone brought it up and said, I think I just learned something tonight. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I, I also did not know this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had someone tell me as well about Netflix and chill. Yeah. <laughs> but I love how but old people... At the time, I didn't have Netflix, so... It was just chill. It was just chill. Oh. <laughs> Solo chill. <laughs> oh, oh, I was just chilling by myself at the time. <laughs> Can we, whilst we're talking about shows, bring up a new one that we have started watching? Is it Manifest? No. Oh. It's a South Korean one, and we all oh know. Oh my gosh! That... You have to watch this. You guys will enjoy the hell out of this. Okay, okay. My usual question is the subtitles. There yes. is, but you can watch the dub version. We watch nope. the subtitles. Subtitles. Um, yeah, we now, watch the was, subtitles. What was we watch because oh. I, I think there's more feeling in the uh, the the nat, uh, the native tongue. Native tongue. There's yes. a lot of. Rrr, rrr, like I like the Korean. Well, yeah, well, you oh. showed us. You told us to watch Parasite. We watched it, and that was full on. That was full on. Um, this is full on, <laughs> but this is a TV show. Yeah, it's called Squid, Squid Games. Games. 
Oh, don't tell me anything. I want to watch it. I already want to watch it. I already, <laughs> we've seen it and I'm like, yes, I want to it watch this. It is on, like we've only watched two episodes. I wanted to watch three, but you had had enough yesterday. Well, I was tired. Yeah. I was tired. Like I want to be fully awake when I watch that. I don't want to be, t- I don't want to be like, oh, what happened? What happened? I want to be fully invested. I don't, I don't like, I like, I want to be awake, you know? Yeah. I want coffee. Uh, yeah. I want, I, I don't, it's, it's very good. It's I love uh, it. definitely worth watching. It's intense. It's intense. Um, it's on. It's, it's on my intense. list. That one. hundred okay, percent on cool. my list. And because and the thing is, the subtitles don't take away from the visuals either. No, no. Like I was reading and I was watching. I was like, I'm so. This is unreal. I love this show. I love it. Yes. I love it. So while we're on things of watching nature, there's a film they've announced the their actors list for. That's coming out. Oh, I think it's coming out please, next please. year. And I want to know what you're talking about. On this. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. This is. Can I wait? Can I whisper into Emma to see if I'm right? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, go. This is Super Mario Bros. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dev, you, Dev sent me a TikTok yeah. yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> So, CJ's took not off interested. his thing. No, it's <laughs> it's the actors list that they've announced for this. Yes, yes. the actors are unreal. So the the internet is going a bit crazy over this because I say so. I don't know what order you saw this actors list in, but I saw it in a particular order, which yeah. from the jump made me question this film straight away. And not and me and Judy were both looking at the same time. We were both like, what? There's a lot of very notable actors in this film, which makes you think this is going to be a really good film. For example, yeah. Bowser is Jack Black. Jack Black. Yeah. yeah. But did you see Donkey the one Kong, with the meme side Seth to Rogen. side? Yes. Seth no. Rogen. Who? Seth Rogen. Uh, Seth Rogen okay. is Donkey Kong. Do you know, you know Key it and Peele? sounds like it's going to be a pop TikTok. movie. You know? Yeah. Key is Toad. <laughs> I want to hear um, his voice as Toad. I want to hear his voice as Toad. I think he'll be all right because he does he does well with voice voice Voices, stuff. Yeah. Anya Taylor Joy. I don't even yeah, know who it that is. Like a pop movie. Oh, Anya Ooh, Ta- Taylor. Oh, so she's the Queen's You'll know Gambit him when you see him. girl. Yeah, I don't think I've seen her in anything, but she she's uh, Princess Peach, which uh, fine. But and. The one that the internet is not happy with, and this is one of those rare circumstances where I fully agree. And I and I want to caveat this. I like this person as an actor. I really like this person as an actor. And that is the casting of Mario. Oh, it sounds like who? Who is it? The cast for Ma- the cast for Mario. The actor they've picked for Mario is Chris Pratt. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see a problem. Yeah. What? He's kind of white for the role. Mario's it's Italian. an Italian plumber, Chris Pratt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, Chris Pratt and Italian. Like this. Wait, wait, are, you, gone, are you saying? Surely... Wait, wait, are you saying Pratt? Pratt is Italian. No, he's no, no, Mario. He's not Italian. But surely yeah, it, it's going. He to looks be... like a white dude. It, surely he's going to have to put on the most racist accent ever to play Mario. Like, how is he possibly going to play yeah. Mario? He's a super <laughs> oh. Italian plumber. What are they saying? What is Twitter saying about it? What 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 are their comments? I've just seen lots of reaction memes where people are like, yeah. they see the other people and they're like cheering and then they see Chris yeah. Pratt and they're like... What? Oh. <laughs> play your one because it has a no, side by just... side with the actual characters, how it looks like them. Yeah. Hold up. What? Bro, I just saw the cast and oh my god! Why am I crying? Like, why why am I crying? Chris Pratt is Mario is perfect! Bro, like, we done. We done. And Aya <laughs> Taylor Joy is Peach Lady. Look, they look the same. Look at the photo! Like, bro, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> this is the greatest day of my unreal. life, y'all. <laughs> Who picked these photos? Thank you, God. We all know Jack Black got big Bowser energy. Yup. Yup. Let's go. I can't wait to hear Toad's voice. 
I cannot wait to hear Toad's voice. I cannot tell y'all how is it the cartoon? I, am. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think it's a live so. action, isn't it? Oh, is it live action or cartoon? I thought it was a cartoon. I'm assuming it's going to be a cartoon. I don't know though. Oh. Now I you've made me question. Cartoon, guys. Yeah, I think it's a cartoon. I just um, yeah, I would assume I it's a cartoon. Uh, uh, before we end the podcast, I want to just uh, just uh, tell everyone that I watched FF9. No, oh, how was F- it? Any good? F- oh, oh, I don't think I've seen yeah. eight. Yeah, I think seven was the last one I watched. I think number well, two maybe was the did, last one. I have you have watched? Have you watched FF9, CJ? I can't bring myself to do it. Okay. <laughs> when you when you told me when you told me it went in space. <laughs> I was like, it's finally gone too far. Okay. See, all right. So, so that's the scene I'm going to bring up, right? That's the se- exact scene that I'm going to bring up. So, there's a scene where they strapped a rocket car on the back of a jet. And uh, <laughs> this jet is going at the speed that the jet does so that it can propel it, propel the rocket car into space. When I mean a rocket car, I mean there's a rocket blaster on the car. So the jet releases it, and all of a sudden, it's got this extra from the rocket, and it propels itself into space. It goes into orbit. (laughs) Me describing this to you, what are you thinking? (laughs) What are you thinking? I was thinking when I heard about the scene... I can't watch this anymore. You can't watch it. It's too. It's too much. Too far fetched. Yeah, it's finally gone. I could. I could handle the three buildings. The car flying through the three buildings. Yeah. I could handle the fact that these guys are drag racers. Yes. Right. Who have become James Bond spies. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. I, I could handle that too now. You know, but yeah. um. I'm gonna handle. A, I I can let a lot slide with this. This is all news this to one, me. This one, because as I said, I th- I think <laughs> I think it's finally gone too, too far. Too far. From when I watched the first one, maybe two, they were just on the, the road. <laughs> <laughs> they were still on the road. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like the, 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 they are driving cars onto submarines. Yeah. Oh. Like driving cars onto planes. I mean. Yeah. I f- drag cars are taking on tanks and winning. I feel like I I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I feel like if you got how many of you watched Siege or eight, <laughs> I feel like you don't have room to talk anymore. Like I feel like if you made it as far as eight, bear yeah, in mind I've, I know I know I've only seen seven. I actually want to see eight and nine. If you've made yeah. it as far as eight, you can't talk about the ridiculousness of it because you've no. gone way past the point of ridiculous at that point. That's uh-huh. what you were talking about earlier. Like, you, when's the, when's the point where you get to it? You just got to finish it. You just got to continue. Like, if you're if you're I upset at the if you're upset when you're at driving the a car into space, <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> but I feel like that's see that's not like I don't know. For me, that wasn't shocking. Like it's like yeah. No. That's that's a Fast and Furious movie. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then maybe number 10 will be on Mars. Can can I tell you, Fast and the Furious isn't a comedy. Fast and Furious isn't a comedy. FF9 is not a comedy. But I was laughing my head off. <laughs> the shit that was happening on there, I was in tears. I was like, this is outrageous. This is outrageous. The stuff was outrageous. I couldn't believe the stuff was happening. I'm like, I can't believe I'm watching this, but this is so entertaining. Maybe that's why Aiden was like... He was like, he actually stopped what he was doing, which is very rare, and was like, put, peeped his head around the corner and was quite engaged for a while. <laughs> it was, it was, it I was, mean, look, I thought it was outrageous, but I still think that everything that happens on FF9 is still possible. It's, that's the thing, like, Fast and Furious, <laughs> Fast and Furious to me is something you watch to escape reality. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not, you don't watch it with the expectation of, Oh, like yeah, this could happen. Like you watch it with like. No, I, I truly believe that all that stuff could happen. It <laughs> could happen in reality. No, you don't. <laughs> I do. So, 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 <laughs> so he's a guy. 
He's, he's, I a, do. he's a guy that lives a quarter, quarter mile at a time. Yeah. But the only problem is we didn't know it was a quarter mile in space. Yeah. You know why I believe that all the stuff that FF9, it could happen. I tell you why. Or, or the fact that the guy, the main character, is he's exotic looking yeah. and his new brother is a white dude. No, it was a different mom. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to spoil the, the movie. So I still believe that everything that happens in FF9 can happen in reality. Alexander doesn't believe me, but I truly do because what <laughs> what we accept oh. as fact is outrageous. I'm going to put it out there. Yeah. How I completely that. agree with How, that. How yeah. a rock filled with humans can float in space. <laughs> and we're okay with that. <laughs> we're okay. <laughs> that we spin in this thing we have know nothing about. We don't know where we're going. So <laughs> but we're okay with it. <laughs> me and me and Judy quite regularly have conversations about space. And like, you know the whole Mars landing that recently happened and stuff like we no. yes oh what do you mean the thing that landed on mars the first helicopter that was on mars this like earlier this year did you tell me about this yes okay yes <laughs> yes so <laughs> the one that took this yeah the picture it's taken like the high definition pictures for the first time or yeah. anyway oh yeah, yeah 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 we we are in both minds of like yeah, we understand how that's possible. And also in the mind of this could be complete bullshit and none of us would know. Because um, <laughs> it's like, I've still, I'm still in the mindset of, I understand the scientific explanations. Not I understand rocket science down to like yeah. the equation, but I understand the science behind how we do what we do and that kind of stuff. But the idea of looking at space from Earth, <laughs> yeah. from the ground, just looking and going, yeah, I know how to travel through that. That just doesn't make sense to me. Like that, <laughs> yes. you can't just look at something and go, yeah, I know I know how to navigate that thing now. I know how to build something that can sustain. Like, it would be like looking at water and going, yeah, I know how to do that. <laughs> that is another episode of the Beast Our Word podcast, podcast, podcast done for another week. I hope you guys have a nice, enjoyable week. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. I am signing off. Bye. Bye, guys. Peace. You nearly, you nearly round robined again. I ciao, did. Ciao. I nearly did.